Hello and welcome back to our Cracking Good Eggs channel. Today I'm going to show you a very quick and simple recipe for hummus. Do you like hummus? I love hummus. Do you? Yeah. Oh, that's do you know what it is? Yeah, well, I didn't actually until... Did you know it was made from? I think I, I knew it was made from, but I've never made really... Made from what? Uh, chickpeas. Oh, that's what happened. There you go. You didn't think they were baked beans or anything like that? Oh, well, they could have been. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, yes. I think I've never, I, I've never got a, one of these things to a hummus, chickpea, to, a chickpea, yes. to that state, to the state of hummus. No, no, to the state of that. Where do they come from? They come out of a tin. Oh, do they? Yes. Oh, the tin so, comes from the supermarket. Oh, so you can, it, but you can buy those dry, can't you? Well, you can, but I actually think that. Doing that, soaking beans or chickpeas or pulses overnight is a complete waste of time. Because you don't need to. And all of a sudden you're sitting there in a pile of water and then it takes about two, three hours to boil. Why not just buy the tin? So there's for about sixty P and you're done. So there's tins of chickpeas, there's tins of lentils, there's Yeah, you don't really need to know all that, darling. But the thing no, is but I, I need to know because I, I need to know what to look for. Well you can get any kind of beans in the supermarket now. In a tin. You can get a dookie beans. Uh, what do you call it? Soya beans, uh, black eyed peas, okay. black eyed beans, it is. Uh, kidney beans, yeah. Ready to go. So, yeah, this is so Brilliant. much easier. And anyway, so what we have here is one tin of ready cooked chickpeas. And just one thing to remember when you open the tin, put it through a sieve, and rinse it off with cold water. And that rule basically applies to all beans. Because of the salt? Yeah, or because it gets covered in cack, you know. Oh, cack, cack. Not very nice. Got to rinse them, got to wash them a bit. So I'm going to put these into my magic mix. You'll be amazed how easy this is. Wow. And we put all of everything in together. I think I should know. The next thing I'm going to put in a clove of garlic. With the skin on? No, not this time. Okay. So, but I am going to show you something very useful. Go on. And every time I show this to some people, they're very, very grateful that I have because it, it's basically a quick way to skin a piece of garlic rather than trying to. Pick it off and get you know, pull, you get a knife out. I don't need to. Just hold its little tail at the end there. Oh, hello, Bridie. Oh, you darling. Garlic in kitchen. Who would like garlic and just batch it? With your own thing. There you go. I missed that completely. Okay, I'll do another one. Oh my god. Yeah, just get get it by its little tail. Oh my god. So you don't have to go inside. Peel it off or anything. No. I think the dog should be out of the kitchen, Julia. Oh, why? She's just looking to see if she's got something nice to eat. Here so well, I'll let her out. Right, go. Good girl. There we go. Good girl. Um, what did you do? Yeah, hold the end. You've just been touching the dog. Oh, <laughs> loud. It's up the dog. Yes, who cares? Okay, now you go. Get hold of it and just bash it. Bash, bash, bash. Beautiful. Well, mm, almost. Oh, so you bash it You lightly. bash it a little bit too hard then, but that's okay. See, the skin just comes away. Yes, you made of that. We'll use my bit. Anyway, handy tip how to skin a garlic in one fell swoop. I don't know, just to skin it a light bash. Hold the end up. Like that. So it doesn't fly I'm across sorry. the <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't fly across the kitchen. Hold, Hold the end and give it a one bash. Not too hard. That's it, that's enough. Whoa. Done. You've done it. That's very good. That's pretty good. That's pretty smashing like that, But anyway, there we are. Let's pop that in there. Oh, stinks. Like and I'll just pop that one in there. I think that might be a little bit too much. That uh, knife knife in there. Right? How many cloves of garlic? You really only need one because these are quite large ones. So I'm, I'm going to put one and a half. Okay. Just to live dangerously. Okay. okay. And now the next thing is this. What on earth is that? That is called tahini. Pardon? Tahini. 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 Never seen it before. Which is life. sesame seed paste. Oh. It's all runny. And well, it's quite oily, mm. so you do need to give it a little bit of a oh mix. A little bit of a mix, and this is a vital part oh, of hummus. Like sand on the beach. Sand on the beach? Really? Do you think so? Yeah, I wouldn't want to be on that lying on that beach. <laughs> <laughs> Would you? It looks a bit like peanut butter. Peanut butter. Now you just see one fairly generous spoonful like that. Don't okay. worry, the ingredients will be at the bottom of this. What is it? Sesame recipe. seeds mashed up. It's puree. It's just, I don't know how you make it. I haven't actually made it myself. I buy it in the shop, and it just comes like. Well, would you know? Mean to, would you know how to make peanut butter? Uh, no. no. Good. Okay. <laughs> so next thing to go in is a splodge of olive oil. Like a so. splodge, just like a round thing. <clears throat> yes. I'll put the um. Okay. So we've got. Okay. So we've got chickpeas, tahini, tahini, garlic. Garlic. Olive oil, oil 
And I'm going to add some lemon juice. That is the juice of one and a half lemons. One and a half lemons. How many chickpeas have you got in there? One tin. One tin. If you're paying attention at the beginning, you know that. That's a safe tin. And then my favourite ingredient of all. That goes into everything. goes into everything. One small teaspoon of bouillon. Bouillon. We don't want too much because it's very, very salty. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more. But you need to That's it. Salty. That's all you need. Job done. Right? Job not quite done yet. Almost. Yeah, we are. Thank you. Perfecto. 